what's going on YouTube? I'm Nick Sardo. Welcome to my channel and thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Now, what this video is all about. Back and biceps day. My favorite day currently, I'm going to take you through the workout that I do. I'm going to help you guys with form, give you tips on technique, um, and really help you get the most out of your workout. Now, with that being said, let's get to it. All right, guys. So with back and buys, always my first exercise is pull-ups. I like to do pull-ups to really loosen up my lats, back, and biceps and uh, start getting some blood flowing into uh, my lats because my next exercise is usually wide grip lat pull downs which it is in this video with wide grip lat pull downs i always focus the stretch of the lat and the contraction so what you want to do is you want to pull the bar with a slight bend in your back making sure that your scalpel is engaged towards your lower chest this is the proper range of motion as you can see here in the video, I let the weight pull me all the way up and then I pull it down towards my lower chest. My next exercise is rack pulls. With rack pulls, you want to make sure that your legs are not locked. The weight is sitting at just below your knee. Your arms are locked, your shoulders are rolled back and your scalpel is engaged. You want to make sure that your back is always at a straight line. Now, what do I mean by a straight line? I mean the plane of your back is not arched so it, so you don't look hunched over, nor is it overextended backwards because both could cause serious injury. Now, as you see here, I really focus on the negative and I make sure that the weight goes down nice and slow and then I explode up. Now my first exercise for biceps here is seated bicep curls. I like to alternate uh, between the two. Um, this is just my preference. You can do them simultaneously, but for me, I really like to focus on the twist to work on the inner bicep, which means I have my pinky rotating inwards towards my bicep. As you notice, I let the weight go all the way down and then at the top, I squeeze and turn inwards as much as I can. Now the next exercise for back is a cable high row. I've been doing these for quite a bit now because I, I really feel that my upper middle back is is lacking a bit so I've been trying to hit this as much as I can every back day but with that I made sure that again stretch and contraction now this next bicep exercise is a cable concentration curl with the cable concentration curl you want to pretend as if there's a wall or some kind of plane blocking your elbow from moving and the only thing that should be moving is your forearm. This exaggerates the tension in the bicep and really gives it a good pump. This next exercise is a variation of the bent over row. I use the easy bar on the cable. Uh, this is a great exercise if you really just want to focus on contracting as much as you can at the top because I feel with a barbell that there's just so much going on with the cable I can really focus on keeping it at that angular plane pulling towards the navel now my last back exercise was a low row and I used the V bar to do so with this low row, I made sure that you, again, row towards the navel, squeezing, and making sure that your back is uh, neutral. 
So your body is almost making a 90 degree angle when you do these. You're not swinging, you're letting the cable pull your back, stretch, 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 and then you pull with your back muscles. It's almost as if you're pulling with your elbows, and once the uh, V-bar is close towards your navel, you squeeze your back. So it's expansion and contraction. So, I hope you guys had some information, some knowledge to take away from this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, then go ahead and subscribe for more content. I'm going to try and put a new video out maybe once every week. Um, and it's going to stay consistent in the sense that I'm going to film my workout and do probably a voiceover or some kind of montage where I explain what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and everything like that. So again, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more.